Hey everyone, it's Thursday, December 14th, 2017. <laughs> My name's Caleb and I make videos. I own a production company called Hoover Heights Media. Now I don't have a MacBook Pro, but what I do have with me all the time is the iPad Pro. Is the iPad Pro. Now I've been looking for ways to have some kind of edit workflow on the iPad. And there's some, uh, there's like Adobe Premiere Clips, there's a couple other apps, um, iMovie, it's just not, things just weren't working until I discovered the app LumaFusion, LumaFusion. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to take it out, um, be on site and um, test out the app and see how powerful it was. So what I did is I went down to a local coffee shop called Josiah's and I asked the owner, Steve, if I could order a drink and just film him making the drink. Thankfully, he said yes, so I busted out the Panasonic GH5. So after I was done filming the drink, I took all the media and imported it into the iPad Pro and went from there. Now this is how the video turned out after uh, putting together the edit in LumaFusion. Now what I might do in future videos is actually go through and, and show how I did everything, but for the purpose of this video and for the purpose of what I did right now, it was purely just trying it out and testing it out. It was super easy to import media, um, drop it in the timeline, find the in and out points, all the spots. It was easy to import LUTs. I thought I handled all the files really well. Um, I wasn't shooting in 4K video or anything like that, um, but I was shooting with a variable frame rate of 96 frames per second, and the the playback was seamless, almost better than sometimes when I use Adobe Premiere Pro. What I think this is gonna allow me to do is edit on the spot when I'm on a shoot and when they might need to see what something might look, what the final product might look like. I think it's gonna allow me to do that really easily. Now I wanted to thank Steve for letting me film down at Josiah's. I wanted to do that on camera, and when I went to do it, I didn't remember that I had the variable frame rate on at 96 frames per second, and that doesn't actually record sound. So I'm gonna show you that clip, but I'm just gonna voice it over. Hi Steve, I'm an idiot because I didn't check my camera settings before turning it to selfie mode to thank you. Hmm, yes you are. I just wanted to thank you Steve for letting me film that drink. It was really good, by the way. Great. Put it here, partner. Make sure you check out Josiah's in downtown Sioux Falls, everybody. Now again, I'm so thankful for Steve down at Josiah's and for him letting me film that little sequence right there. And I'm thankful for you for spending a little time watching this video. If you're a video person and you have any other editing workflows on the iPad, I wanna hear about it. Comment below so I can know what you're trying, so I can try it and see what really works best. Thanks for checking out this video. If you're watching on YouTube, I would love if you would subscribe to it. I'm gonna to try to build this page up a little bit.